everyone, I'm Tanya. Welcome to Project Happy Home. This is my introductory video for the virtual homeschool co-op started by Just So Trish. And I am so excited to join this community, not only because I'm new to homeschooling, but also because I'm new to YouTube. And before I even launch into us, I'd like to just say thank you to everyone who's already started a channel, um, who has been so honest and open about their struggles and their successes and all the things that they've learned and all their helpful hints and tricks about homeschooling. I have learned so much and I would not have the courage um, to start this channel or to start homeschooling without everything I learned from those videos. I have three kiddos and they are lovely and loud and a handful. Um, I have worked outside the home my entire life. Um, this was my first year since the birth of my last child that I have worked mainly from home. And learning how to manage a house and how to manage children full time is a very different prospect from coming home at six and having to manage them from six to nine or whenever bedtime is. And let me tell you, now that I manage them all day, bedtime has shifted to eight. <laughs> um, so my channel focuses mainly on how to run a household and how to run a homeschool, both things that I'm fairly new at and am enjoying learning, but I'm finding challenging often. And I definitely have gone through a process of, of trying things that have worked for me and things that have not. And I expect the same will happen with homeschool. So um, at least in the beginning, several of my videos will probably focus on curriculum choices that we've made, um, schedules that we've created, and I think I'll have as many failures as I have successes and I look forward to hearing all your comments and advice as I go through and make these videos because I really think this community of homeschoolers is so helpful to us all and really benefits our children. My kids are ages 6, 3, and 1 and they are um, a boy and two girls. My challenge in homeschooling will be trying to calm my six-year-old's wiggles because he is as energetic a boy as they come. If you want to say that he looks like he's always on, he is. <laughs> he is definitely always energetic. The comment we hear most often from people is, it's like he's battery powered, <laughs> like he's never, he doesn't have an off switch. And I think that's definitely true. So a traditional schooling environment has not been the best for him. He loves learning, he does very well academically, but he definitely does not appreciate the rules. He does not enjoy having to sit down for over six hours a day. I, on the other hand, am fairly traditional in how much I loved school and I loved sitting and I loved pen and paper assignments. So a lot of my challenges with this year of homeschooling will be trying to mesh my instinct towards the traditional or my leaning towards the traditional with his obvious need for a more uh, atypical approach, a more unschooling or Charlotte Mason type approach. And I expect to navigate those different styles this year to try to figure out what works best for him. Because my main goal in homeschooling is to craft an educational construct for all my children that works best for their learning styles. We are fairly secular. Um, we are a mixed uh, race and mixed ethnicity and mixed religion family. So my husband was Catholic growing up. I was Islamic growing up. We are now um, Unitarian Universalists. Uh, right now, I just like my kids to have a spiritual base but that is in no way the center or focus of our homeschool. Um, so you'll see a lot of secular curriculum, a lot of more scientific, um, scientifically based uh, curricula here. The things that will are interesting about me, I come from a lot of education. I have multiple graduate degrees. Um, my career path has wandered to say the least. I started off my career as a physician, as a pathologist, and then I went to teaching and 
taught medicine to seventh graders for a couple of years and then I decided to become a lawyer and I now work from home mainly um, patenting medical devices so I've managed to make everything merge together um, especially now with homeschooling even the teaching gets used I'm definitely atypical in that way and I really do look forward to incorporating my background in science and in law with homeschool videos. Um, I love doing experiments. Obviously that was one of the most fun things about teaching um, science class and I love um, reading and writing which is why I became a lawyer. So I look forward to doing um, videos on interesting curricula and those topic areas. And in general I am excited about this journey. I think our children are so lucky to be able to learn in an individualized way and I congratulate all of us on having the guts to do it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I invite you all to subscribe to my channel below. I really look forward to growing a community of people who are interested in watching our children grow and helping them along as they do it. So thanks so much and I hope you guys have a great day.